lot and I have been learning a lot. I learned C major, both hands, G major, both hands, F major, both hands. Scale technique. So learning how to play your scales is really important as a piano player because scales are found in every piece that you'll ever play. If you already know all of your scales and all of your keys, then learning new pieces and sight reading new pieces and memorizing pieces becomes so much easier. Now when you learn scales, and even in the player's muscular, we learn them at a slow speed, which is really great because you want to make sure that your hand, posi hand position is correct. So let's talk about first um, how our thumb is because thumb is the most important finger when we're playing scales. The thumb makes the scale tricky because we either have to cross over the thumb or put the thumb under our fingers. And to be able to play a scale quickly, that thumb can't get in the way. And that thumb is what gets in the way to make our wrist wobble up and down or makes a bump in the scale. So let's look at the thumb and make sure that it's in the correct position. So with the left hand, the most tricky thing is when the thumb is crossing under the fingers. So we learned in habits that the, the thumb has to cross under as soon as the second finger plays. So in left hand, it's when you're going down the keyboard. So you'll notice and see how my thumb is already gone under my hand and is ready to play its next key. So you don't want it to wait too late. And then when the way you go under is also important. So we don't want to come out and around here, right? We don't want to come up and then back down. You don't want to twist your wrist to do it. Everything stays very still. There's a thumb prep exercise in habits that's really useful to keep doing even as you're in players. It can go a little faster and, and work into the scale that you're playing. So I'll show you the thumb prep exercise, for example, in G major scale. So what I'm going to do is going down in the left hand, I'm going to stop on every second finger and cross my thumb under. So then wait till I'm touching the key. In right hand, that same thumb prep exercise would look like this. It's going to be going up because that's when our thumb is crossing under. So stop on my two, stop on my two. It's a good way to warm up with every scale. The other part of crossing in scales is with your second finger crossing over. So we'll show that in the right hand first, and it's when your right hand's coming down the keyboard. Um, to get that second finger ready, so you're not just thinking about your third finger, you're always thinking of where your second finger is going. So the way that you do the prep exercise for second fingers, you stop on every thumb. So in, uh, let's do it in F major. So I'm going to start at the top, stop on my thumb. See how I'm prepared on my second finger? So I'm not over here, but I'm already getting my second finger ready to play. Stop on my thumb, stop on my thumb, and for left hand it would be coming up the keyboard, so stop on thumb, stop on thumb, stop on thumb. So when I'm practicing my scales, I warm up a couple of ways. I do first um, a high loud, so I'll do, um, in A major, we'll do muscle builders. So lifting my fingers high and loud, muscle builders. And then I'll go through each hand doing both preps combined. So right hand, thumb prep. I'm just doing it kind of fast. Stop on thumb. That will take some practice to get it that fast correctly, but you can kind of see where you're going. Left hand, stop them. And then the last thing we 
need to talk about with good scale technique is what I call wrist leaning. So you might have noticed that when my right hand's going up the keyboard, the wrist is flat, and when it's coming down the keyboard, the wrist has kind of risen up, and it's because my thumb has gone from being kind of flat on the keys to playing right on the corner. And the reason for that is simply because of that crossover. It's easier to cross over when your thumb's a little higher. So with your wrist leading, I'll show you in the key of um, D major, your right hand will go from low to high. So it's making a circle. And in the left hand, the left hand, is, the wrist is going to start high and go down to low. That also helps your thumb cross under when you're low like that, to have a nice flat thumb going straight under. So as you practice that and get it as a habit in your hands, you're going to find that it's easier to play your scales evenly and as fast as they have to go in your repertoire, and you'll have fabulous scales. So watch all of those elements as you practice.